Hello, I'm Ralf Jäck, Technical Applications Specialist of MTEC. We will show you the startup of the Duomix Connect. First of all, we connect the power. Then we connect the water. There is a entrance of the water that's for cleaning. Then we open the water on the main. Also, we plug in the power from the main. We open the cleaning to get out the air of the water line. We check the power, main switch on, on the Duomix Connect. You see in the display one and three. One and three, it's the safety device of the mixer. This part has to be always dry. Now we put the mixing shaft in, mixing chamber. Now you see the mixing chamber, the safety device, you see on the display, zero. Next part, we put in the pumping shaft. When you close it, you see, go from this side, it's safety. And lock it. We put a bucket underneath the mixer. So we check the consistency. I have to push the green button together with the mixer and hold it. A little bit too dry. I adjust a little bit more water. Looks good. Lock the pump. If you have a hard pumpable material, you have to put a cement slurry here in and pump it through the hose. Manometer. Then you can see the back pressure if you have a blockage in the hose or is everything okay. Push the green button. You see the light and the zero. Everything is okay. Check the probe. The wet material probe, it's okay. It has to be in. And then let run the mixer. Only the mixer. The mixer is running and fill up the pumping chamber until to the wet material probe. So if you have done that, you see the mixer, it's okay. It's Flushing, now I push the button for the pump and pump the material through to the hose. It's a little bit too wet. I reduce a little bit the water. If you change the water, it takes one or two minutes that the material is coming out of the hose. Now the material is coming out of the hose, we can start the work.